Hey all, so I just briefly wanted to chime in on the all babies are atheist thing just because it's so much fun. And as people have pointed out, um, if all babies are atheists, it probably makes sense to say all rocks are atheists. And I don't know how much that furthers the debate, but you know, whatever. And for people that say, well, if babies are atheists, that somehow shows that, um, that you know, that the the base position is atheism and therefore, uh, you know, something burden of proof, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it does any such thing. A Christian can still say, yes, God plants the seed of knowledge of God, but of course God, you know, plants it so that it grows with the person and you're back at square one. Um, but I mean, it's just, you know, as, as I've said, when people have made this argument, you can then call a rock an atheist. That's a pretty meaningless statement. Um, also, a baby really has very little brain when it's first born. I mean, the brain is um, is unfortunately so huge in a human being that it doesn't quite fit through the birth canal fully formed. So we're born with barely functioning kind of uh, apparatus that's just enough to have us on life support for the first couple of weeks of our lives. And as a result, a baby has almost nothing going on in terms of uh, intellectual... Um, thought or or really any kind of deeper emotion from what we understand a baby um, doesn't understand that you're a real person or that you have feelings uh, so by definition since babies are atheists we have to say it babies are also sociopaths yes babies are sociopaths and I'm sure we can draw many many important uh, conclusions from the fact that babies are in fact sociopaths. Um, this is a very valuable contribution to uh, understanding fully grown human beings, understanding that babies are in fact sociopaths. Um, I'll see you guys all later. Church of SDFU.